in terms of kind of this off season, so relatively quiet, not a lot going on, just uh, <laughs> not, not a lot of media coverage. Ma- just a uh, master of understatement. Just yeah. a, uh, you know, just rhythm just keeps on going. <laughs> um, so obviously an off season that was uh, different. And mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just going to speak personally. I was really looking forward to the draft this year. And I was like, oh, mm-hmm. there's going to be no drama. It's going to be so nice. Yeah. And then Adam Schefter ruined my draft. <laughs> he, he, he did it. Um, and, and obviously all that stuff happened. And I, I don't even really want to start there. And this is something that we've talked about before. So you get named president CEO in 2007. Mm-hmm. 2008, yeah. Brett Favre was traded to the Jets. Yeah. Like, feed uh, into something the... Something happened between... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He didn't right. just get traded. No, 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 no. So, like, that, that whole saga goes sure. on, right? So for you being new in that position, like what is it like to be faced with something that's so monumental, like right out of the gate? Yeah, you know, it. Uh, I, th- I think in in retrospect, it was probably a really positive thing sure. in terms of, um, especially my working relationship with Ted Thompson and Mike McCarthy at the time. It's very similar. I mean, this off season, you know, Brian, Matt, Russ Ball, and yeah. I, I mean, we have met <laughs> and talked more than <laughs> you can imagine. Sure. So I think it's been positive. Um, obviously, it's it's challenging and difficult sure. to go through situations like that. But, uh, you know, I mean, that that's kind of the irony is, you know, that, uh, you know, uh, the, the we moved on from Favre and, yep. you know, put all our faith and confidence in, in Aaron and you know, uh, pretty – not to uh, many much time after that, you know, we won the Super Bowl, and obviously Aaron's gone on to a great career. Worked out but, pretty well. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, I, I've told uh, told people. Uh, yeah, it, uh, you know, it was a difficult time, and uh, you know, we we had confidence that Aaron could be a good player, but you know, we really didn't have. There wasn't a lot of proof, sure. and um, you know, fortunately, <laughs> we were proven to be. Uh, not only a good player, but uh, a Hall of Fame caliber player. Yeah. And, and the thing that sticks out to me was like that little, that viral clip that went viral years and years ago with Ted Thompson getting like confronted by a fan saying <laughs> that Rogers is going to take us to the toilet bowl and mm-hmm. Brett Favre to the Super Bowl. How difficult is it to kind of like deal or like, I guess, deal with like the perception of the front office when like, media is running rampant, like the, the fans have their own perception. So how difficult it is to kind of like manage a situation like that while also maintaining like the trust of the fan base? Yeah, no, it's, uh, you raise a good point. It, it, it is, it's, and, uh, you know, and I, uh, our fans are very vocal. Um, and, you know, which one of the things that's great about our fans is, um, you know, that um, they really, they have a, a stronger sense of connection to the team because of the ownership structure. Yeah. And so, you know, we do, I hear from a lot of fans, um, you know, I th- and, you know, it was certainly, it was, I think in 2008, being relatively new to the organization, I didn't sure. really know, you know, <laughs> what to expect or like, what was <laughs> you know. a little more attention than uh, Colgate and Northwestern. Um but, you know, having obviously been in the position now, I appreciate it. And, um, you know, we, the passion that our fans have, it's, it's unbelievable. And, uh, you know, but it's so it's, and we do, I hear, I have heard from a lot of fans and you get it from both positive and negative perspectives. Yeah. And, but I think you, you, uh, you have to kind of, you, you can't ride the emotions of, you know, what's going on in the media. And um, I think one of the most important things is, in terms of the administration is, and, and as well as the coaching staff, is just open and honest communication. Sure. And, and that's, that's been crucial. That was, uh, you know, very beneficial in 2008, and I think it has been this year. Sure. And because I, I need the Murphy take five, like I, I, can, I can only imagine the emails. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're just like, yep, this is. This is <laughs> well, Murphy takes five is okay. public, so anybody. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. So it's just like, here we go. Yeah. We're just going to get all I, these. Uh, I get a lot. Of, <laughs> there's one, one, one guy that just keeps writing and writing, and he has yet to. It's supposed to be questions. <laughs> these are it statements, sir. Yeah, he hasn't <laughs> written a question yet, but, but he's let me know his opinion. I'm, yeah. I'm sure he's very <laughs> vocal about that. 